I'm Trevor with Maker Experiment, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own custom magnets. I have a client who wanted some custom laser engraved magnets. So the process that I'm going to walk through for this can actually be applied to pretty much any laser safe material. For this project, I'm going to be using this wood laminate material. It has an MDF core and it has laminate on both sides to make it look like birch. And I'm going to be using this laser safe magnet material. Not all magnet materials are laser safe, so it's important to look at the specifications for it and make sure it doesn't have any hazardous chemicals in the makeup of that material. This one I actually get from Johnson Plastics and it is marked as laser safe, so that's the one that I typically use. And these are really the only two materials you need to make a project. Again, any laser safe material will work for the main layer. In this case, I'm using wood, but you could use acrylic or whatever other laser safe material that you want. The beauty of using this magnet sheet is I can die cut the shape of the magnets to match the shape that I want in the design. So for this client, I'm going to put the design on the screen. The design is pretty simple. It's got circular shapes and it's just some text engraved onto it. I'm going to attach the magnetic material. This is basically a peel and stick adhesive. I'm also going to be using this little scraper to help smooth it out. But the way I like to do this is I line it up with the material to begin with, and then I'll start in one corner, peel it off, and basically tuck it underneath like that. Make sure it's lined up to the material on all corners, and then smooth it out in one corner to start with. And you can see that this adhesive isn't really liking this piece. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to apply a little bit better adhesive to the wood. The adhesive that comes on this isn't the best and sometimes it doesn't work that well and it can peel off over time. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a strip of my sign tape to this first and hopefully that'll give us a little bit better adhesion. So here I have my sign tape. Depending on the material, this magnetic material may stick well to begin with, but pretty much any time I use this laminated wood, whether I sand it or I don't, this doesn't seem to have the best adhesion. Because of that, sometimes I'll go through and add some extra double-sided tape and that will usually help. So now that the double-sided tape is on, I'm going to put the magnetic sheet on. So in a perfect world, the adhesive on the back of this sheet would be fantastic to begin with. And I've used it enough that I found it's just not that great of an adhesive and it could be better. Part of that might be the laser safe aspect. I'm not sure. Just be aware if you do buy these magnetic sheets, the adhesive isn't always the greatest. So I'm still going to line it up with the corners and you'll see already that it does stick down better. I didn't line it up that well, so I will have to get some air bubbles out, but you can peel it up to smooth those out. So I'm just gonna finish putting this sheet on and get this ready to go. So I applied it a little bit crooked, but that's not a big deal because when I go to cut these magnets, I'm mainly going to start up here in this corner anyway. So I'm just going to trim off the excess magnets. It would be nice if these sheets were a little oversized just so you had some clearance for mistakes, but it just goes to show you that we're not perfect. So I'm gonna trim off the magnet that's sticking off the edge. All right, I have the magnet attached to the back of this. I will admit that it is not the easiest thing to do. So I'm actually going to mask off the front of this so that I get a clean edge on top when it laser cuts. I will have to unmask some stuff and peel off paper, but that's fine. It'll make it easier clean up in the end. So I'm going to add the masking, take it over to the laser and machine some magnets. For the masking, I'm just using a 12 inch wide roll of masking tape. 
So again, I'm terrible at lining these things up, but I'm just going to add it on and smooth it out. So this is how they come off of the laser. The magnetic material actually helps keep it in place. So I just need to go through and pop these out. So you will see that adding that paper masking helps protect the wood from this charred mark on the edge. And you will see some residue on the bottom of these and on the edges from the magnetic material. So all you have to do is take a dry cloth and wipe it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that to all of these magnets and then we'll start peeling off the paper. Now that all the edges are clean, I'm going to go ahead and peel off the paper. So I need to peel off the paper from all the letters as well as the overall masking. So this can be tedious if your engraving is pretty detailed, but it is worth it to get that clean finish. So I'm just going to peel it up. And now we have a clean finished magnet. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the paper off the rest of them and finish them up. I just finished unmasking all of the magnets and cleaning them up. And this is what they look like. So you'll see that masking off the area helped keep the face of this clean. The edges are clean now. You do need to wipe them down. The magnet will leave a residue if you don't. But that's how you can create your own die cut magnet shapes using pretty much any laser safe material. I will say that adding the double sided tape helps a lot when it comes to keeping the magnet on the back. Once I did that, the magnet material doesn't go anywhere and it should hold up a lot better than the adhesive that comes on the magnet sheet to begin with. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel where I come out with new videos each week. And be sure to check out my Instagram at Maker Experiment where I share projects like this along the way. But that's going to do it for this video and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>